Welcome friends to Onstop Java Solutions. I am Sneasis and today I am going to explain the topic um, means one of the basic OOPS concept that is encapsulation. Okay. In my previous video, I already um, explained how what is class and how to create a class and how to create object of a class. Okay. So basically encapsulation is nothing but a class. Okay. So encapsulation, what is encapsulation means encapsulation is the process of binding data okay and method into a single unit okay that is called the encapsulation so <coughs> it is a mechanism to bind together the code and data okay so code means code means the method okay that manipulates on data used basically to manipulate the data and if you write a class okay i am showing you first i am creating a class okay, new here write a new then class okay suppose encapsulation demo encapsulation demo and also i am creating the main method okay so here you can see this is a class okay i have created and uh, how say it it is the main class so public class is the public class i made you have to make the class which contain the main method as a public okay and i am creating another class and i am giving the name as suppose test okay so inside a class is containing basically two things okay so in the test class i am writing two variable int number num1 num underscore one and okay um, this one and int num underscore two num underscore two so okay and one thing well, i am using this num only one number i am doing some activity on this number so i am taking one variable number and in good programming practice you always mention the member variable as private okay so this is called the member variable or instance variable okay so this is a member variable and instance variable and the method that will use to manipulate on this variable is called the manipulate on this data is called the method okay so I am writing two things so two method one is setter and getter method so how you will you can write it manually or as you are using eclipse I am using here eclipse so I can take the advantage of the this ID so here you can generate setter and getters go to source and create the generate setter and getter so I am telling you the, what the setter and getters will do so it's basically uh, int get number and it's return the number and another is the set number okay i am passing one value it is a number so this dot number equal to number so what is this and what does it mean i will explain in next video so basically um, i will pro provide while i am calling this set number method i will provide some values and it will assign the value to this number variable okay and while i am calling the outside outside of this class the get number so i will get, uh, i will get the values of this number variable okay so that's it so now you can see this class is containing data private data and public method okay so data private data that is called the member variable or instance variable and the code that operates on that data is referred as a member method or just you can say method okay so this is basically a class is a encapsulation okay so the process of binding data and corresponding methods into a single unit that is called here test is basically called the encapsulation so this test class that is encapsulation encapsulate member data member and member data member that is that means this one and method okay so this is a single unit now from outside of this class if you try to access this variable 
you have to first create the object of that test class so test t1 equal to new is the operator used to create the test uh, use the create of object of a class so test t1 so test is a class and the type is t1 and new test and this new while you are creating a uh, using the means creating object of a new variable so it will return a reference of the test class so that reference i am storing in the test t1 okay so t1 refer that object of the class test okay now i am using scanner class i am giving input okay so scanner sc equal to new scanner and it's take input from system so system dot in so it is a uh, default class means java already provide you the scanner class so i am just creating the object of scanner class and passing system dot in as an um, parameter so it is inside java dot util class so i am importing that package okay now system dot out dot print ln i am giving a message that enter enter a number okay so from console i am providing the number and then what i will do whatever number i am providing from console i am assigning that number to this variable okay so i am calling the setter method then i am calling t1 dot set sorry t1 dot set number and then it you have to provide some input so sc dot next int so sc dot next int will whatever value you providing from console i will provide that value to uh, means calling the set number method and um, providing means uh, sending that value as a parameter and so this number variable inside the class will get that value okay and now if you want to print the values of the variable so you can just here print that number equal to plus t1 dot get number so you cannot directly access the number variable here you have to always means outside the class you have to always call the method member method that that the public method so using that method you can access the variable okay whatever variable inside that so if you run this so enter a number suppose i am providing 5 here you can see number is 5 okay so five so while you are creating the object okay it uh, the object will get the copy of one integer variable and two methods okay and using that method you can access the variable for data okay now while you are telling about the data member means encapsulation there is two related things is come in the picture one is data hiding and abstraction okay so data hiding means you are hide your data outside world so here number i am hiding outside of the world means outside of the class okay so how i am hiding so i am making the data as private okay so if you make it public if you make the public then you don't need this setter and getter method you can directly assign the values from means access the value here if you write t1 dot number you can here access the t1 dot number okay t1 dot number equal to you can if you write sc dot next int so that means you can directly assign but if you make it private private then you cannot write this line because you cannot access private variable private member private variable outside the class directly okay so you cannot access this line so 
this is a best practice and Oops also follows this feature that data member member function should be private but if anywhere it is require, required then you can make it public as well but this is not a good programming practice always you have to keep it private to means save your data means on unwanted modification okay so using private using private modifier you can save your data unwanted modification from outside of the class okay and what is so data hiding what is so this is the concept of data hiding means you are protecting your data to outside of the world or outside of the class okay from direct access okay so any time you have to access that variable you have to always use the method okay public method inside that class using that only you can access so that is the concept of data hiding and also abstraction what is abstraction abstraction is the means the internal implementation we are hiding the internal implementation of a method okay what suppose i am writing here one method called factorial okay so int uh, and you have to make it public public int fact okay factorial public int factorial and here i have the variable and i am just doing while number while number greater than equal to 0 sorry greater than while number greater than 1 I am doing uh, inside that method I am taking one another variable int it is a private means um, private variable inside this method means scope is inside this method so in fact equal to 1 okay and here I am doing fact equal to fact star number and inside that I am doing number minus minus okay and outside uh, sorry this have to do inside the method and here I am doing return fact so this is a simple implementation so outside the method here if I call that system dot out dot println I already wrote this and then I am doing number equal to this and okay. and here I am calling that method, factorial method standard out dot println factorial okay and calling t1 dot factorial calling that method okay okay you have to keep one plus. so this is the thing and now if you run execute this so enter a number i am giving suppose five and uh, you can see factorial effect so what is abstraction abstraction means the hiding the implementation so as a user end user if you run this code block of code you if you run so it will ask you that given given number so okay so you are giving the number and you will get the output factorial equal to 120 so it is not your headache what is inside the factorial method and all these things okay you just execute this code and it's asking you the give the number and you will get the output so you know if you know the what is the means 
factorial method so you you have to only know that there is some factorial method and if you call the method it will uh, give whatever number you are providing from console it will give the factorial of that number so that's it so abstraction means basically the hiding of implementation from our main from the end user okay so it's hiding the implementation so how the method is implemented okay how it will work you don't know means you don't bother about that it is a developer um, responsibilities to give you the correct code okay you only as a end user you only um, uh, execute the code and um, give whatever it is commenting you that give the number you will give it and it will get the result so this is the basically abstraction so abstraction means it's hide the internal implementation of the code okay so that is so while you are talking about class so these three things will come parallelly one is the encapsulation another is data hiding and another is the abstractions okay so hope this concept is clear to you okay if you like my videos you can share with your friends and also subscribe my channel okay and click on the bell icon so that once i upload the next video you will get the notification okay. so thanks for watching this